I've had a question come in from Arif and he asked me to look at the Essential Further Maths textbook which was um, exercise 1c which was on page 14 and this is question 5 and I'm just going to run through this. This is about interpreting histograms. So the question says the histogram opposite was formed by recording the number of words in 30 randomly selected sentences. The first part here says what percentage of these sentences contained five to nine words. So we look over here at these intervals and what you'll notice is that between this point here and this point here, because this is the five mark, this is included in this interval. So between here and here you've got everything from zero up to four. Um, so we're, we're not going above the 5. The 5 gets included above and likewise here the 10 gets included in this section. So here would be 5 to 9 inclusive within this bar. So we've got these intervals here being the number of words in a sentence and up here is the percentage frequency. So for example between here and here anything with 0 words, 1 word, 2 word, 3 words or 4 words in the sentence all of those occurred this percentage of times which if you read off it looks like about 3% of the time. So that's how you uh, read off from this histogram. And the first question is asking us what percentage of these sentences contained five to nine words. So that's this interval here that we're looking at. We're looking at between five and nine because we go up to ten but we don't include it because that's in this next section. So five to nine is here. This is the height of that bar so we read off from here what the percentage is. And the percentage is 17 percent. So that's the answer to part I here is 17 percent. The next question says what percentage of these sentences contained 25 to 29? So that's here between 25 up to 29 because we don't include this 30 here. So that's the height of this bar here which going back along to our scale we read off as 13%. So that's the answer to that one, 13%. Now 10 to 19, that's everywhere between, and I'll just change colours here. Here is the 10 and 19 is up just before this 20 mark. So we're actually counting the height all the way from there to there, which is going to be two of these bars. So we need to know what this one is, all of that distance there, and add on what this distance is here. So this percentage at the height of this bar is 13%. And this percentage up here at the height of this bar is 33%. So we add the two together, we get 33 plus 13 is 46%. So that's the answer to that one there. The next one, fewer than 15, and I'll just change colours again. We want everything that's from this point, 15 downwards. So we want to know all of that there. And we can count this, the height of this bar because the 15 is included in this one here. So this is 14 going downwards. So what we get is this 13% plus this 17 plus whatever the height of this bar is here, which we've worked out is 3%. So for this one we have 3 plus 17 plus 13, which is 33. So our answer is 33% for this one here. The next part of the question says how many of these sentences contained this many words. So they're not asking for a percentage anymore, they're asking for how many of the actual sentences. So for that you need to use this piece of information. There were 30 sentences all up and we know the percentages but to figure out the words we'll have to actually translate that into a percentage of this 30. So we're first finding 20 to 24 words so that's this bar here between 20 up to but not including 25. So we want to know the height of this bar which we read off our scale as 20 percent. So now we need to know what 20 percent of these 30 sentences is. So you say 20 divided by 100 times 30 and that'll give you it as a percentage. So that's 0 0.2 times 30 on your calculator which gives you an answer of six. So there were six sentences that had between 20 and 24 words in them. For the next question there, more than 25 words, I'll just find another colour, we're going from this point upwards, so everything from 25 up, 
Now to be technically correct, this question probably should have asked you 25 and upwards because this is saying more than 25, which implies they're talking about 26 and onwards, which you can't get off this graph. But what they're asking you is 25 up to here. They've just asked it in technically not the best way. But so they want to know the height of this bar here, which is 13%. So they want to know 13% of this 30 total. So that's 13 divided by 100 times 30 or 0 0.13 times 30 on your calculator gives you 3.9 but they've asked you to uh, round that up so I would say that equals 4 is the answer I would give for that one there. Four sentences had more than 25 words or rather 25 words and up technically. And the last part, what is the mode? And they've given you this little hint here, the modal interval, because you can't, from a histogram like this, actually say what the mode is. We can say where it fell, what the range it was in. The modal interval, mode meaning most oftenly occurring. So this is the thing that came up the most number of times. So when you have a histogram, you just look for the highest frequency. So this is the highest bar here. So the modal number, the actual mode, what number of words in a sentence occurred the most time was somewhere between 15 and 19. We don't know if it was 15 or if it was 16 or if it was 17 or if it was 18 or if it was 19 because we can't tell. This data doesn't give us that information but we know it fell somewhere within that range. So it's somewhere between 15 to 19 words in a sentence. And that's the answer. Thanks for sending in your question.